Hi, the goal for this presentation is to show you how to use the XML schema include and import elements. Let's say we are working on a schema file that can be used as a blueprint to hold patient information. This schema file will validate any patient XML and this patient XML should include the patient's profile information, his address and payment information. Here is our patient XSD and as you notice the main element here is the patient XML complex type XML schema complex type which uses another complex type which is defined within the same file called address. The namespace for this patient XSD is defined here the target namespace is my website name then an URI called schema followed by patient which uniquely identifies all the elements within this schema and we reference the address type using the patient prefix which we define here now the payment information if you notice is not declared within this XML schema but we are using it by including another XML schema called payment info.xsd so the XSD include element the XML schemas include element allows us to include other schemas which has elements from the same namespace so the difference between include and import is include allows us to include information from within the within another schema which is under the same namespace so if you look at the payment info the payment info defines two complex types payment and insurance insurance is used again by payment But the main thing here is if you notice the namespace for patient and payment info is the same so the XSD include allows us to modularize our XML schema documents instead of having everything in one place we can split it across split the different complex types or simple types across multiple schema files and then we provide the schema location as an attribute we provide the value for it and we use XSD include and we point to the actual schema file from which we want to pull other simple or complex types. On the other hand the XSD import allows us to import and use XML schema uh, complex types or simple types from other XML schema documents which use different namespace. For example in our applications we can have XML schema elements that are common across components. In this case the OID which is the unique ID for patient can also be an unique ID for a doctor or for any other XML object ex that uh, XML schema object that we come up with so we have it in a different namespace called commons if we look at the commons.xsd which defines the simple type called OID it uses a different target namespace which ends with commons instead of patient and this can be used in any other XML schema file which has different namespaces like doctor or patient in this case we are using it in patient we define the namespace right here with a prefix called commons and then we import the commons schema file and also we provide it has two attributes unlike the XSD include the import has two attributes namespace and schema location we provide the commons namespace as you can notice and then we use the OID type which comes from the common XSD so the main difference between include and import once again is include allows you to use types defined in other schema files which are in the same namespace whereas import allows you to use complex types or simple types defined in other schema files within a schema which have different namespaces to see this in action if you look at the patient XML now here is our XML with ID name age the, the basic elements along with the address and payment information let's validate it by opening the patient XML in XML notepad hoping XML notepad will <laughs> open up in time 
Yep, there it goes. As you can see, we have no issues as of now, but if I delete the payment information, which according to the patient XSD is a mandatory element, when we don't specify min occurs or max occurs, the validator expects that element to occur at least once. So if we go back to XML notepad, load the XML document again, you immediately see that it validates our XML and says that there should be a payment element which is missing. Go back, do a control Z on the patient XML, come back to notepad++, it asks me to reload the XML, say yes, the validation error goes away. So to summarize, from this hands-on you have learned that a XML schema include element can be used to refer to other XML schema elements from different uh, from other XML files which are in the same namespace and the XML schema's import element can be used to import types in schemas in a different namespace. And once we include or import them, we use the namespaces we define a prefix for those namespaces and when we refer to those elements using the prefixes which we define on the root XML schema element. You can download these schema and XML files used in the presentation from my website. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions as always you can shoot me an email to bharatsblog at gmail.com. Take care.